Welcome back to the Hip Bombs YouTube channel. Very excited to have two of the newest long drivers uh, from Australia competing in the sport of long drive. We have Matt Stubbs and Sebastian oh, Waddell. Seb actually just set the record uh, club and ball speed. What is it? Yeah, 240.8 ball speed and 169.6 club. Today we're going to talk about a, a two part series of the progression that Seb took to first hitting 230 and then elevating that to 240. Stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. All right guys, well first off, thank you for joining me today. Uh, Seb, the, the first part of your progression was, was hitting 230. And to get to that point, you used a drill called the baseball step drill. Take us through that, talk about that drill and tell us how that helped you kind of get over that first hump. Yeah, so the baseball drill is something we worked on back at home with Craig Parker. So my hips would always stall out and they would st like fall late. So to fix that, we went back to sort of like my pitching sort of background in baseball. Okay. And that was swing back like that and then four as the club's still up here. And then that way it would explode out of the ground quickly. And yeah, that was the, uh, that was the real, that was the first push to 230. And yeah, it worked pretty good. So very similar to our fellow long drive competitor, Jeremy Nowak, he does something similar. Uh, so if I break that down, and Matt, feel free to give your input. What, what he's saying is you had a tendency to kind of sway your pelvis a little bit more right, maybe get a little bit overextended, a little less rotation. Yep, a little overextension. Yep. And then from there, the hands, arms would get a bit low as well. Just that light sort of hip transition into the ball. Yeah, so by actually kicking the leg back, he's creating more rotation. His upper body's actually staying a little bit more to the right. We can maybe say it's a little bit yep. more flexed. you get that shift back as well. And then as the hips fall, the upper body's staying back as well. And it just creates that little, that stretch as well. And, Love yeah. that. And also as you're demonstrating that, it, it looks like the pressure's actually getting a lot forward, uh, forward a lot earlier as yeah, well. Yeah, a lot quicker as well. Okay, yeah. so let's go ahead and let's hit a few shots and just demonstrate that and we'll, we'll kind of break that down. So normal with stance at the setup. Yep, so normal stance. And then just before we take away, we bring the club up and put it forward just okay. like that. And then the thing that brings the hands back is that left leg kicking back like that. And as the hands get to the top, the feeling was the right butt cheek falls in towards the left heel. And then from there, it just clears out of the way. Love that. So you're actually using the, the kicking of the left foot to start yeah, to the bridge, swing to back. to start the swing back, get the hands moving. And then it just creates that fluent motion of hips falling back. Now, can you actually feel that stretch that you're talking about? Or is it more of just the change of direction? That... More just a change of direction. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's so, see one in action. Sure. So one of the other things I really like about this drill is Seb starting with the club forward, which allows him to create more momentum. He has more time to actually speed the takeaway up in the backswing. That's one of the things we talk about a lot as far as increasing club head speed. Um, Seb, how long did you have go through the progression of this drill? Yeah, so this drill was used for about four weeks. Okay. And yeah, obviously it led up to that 230 mile an hour ball speed. And yeah, shortly after that's when we Pulled pull, the plug on it. the plug on it. And you said it. you picked up about two mile an hour club head speed. Yep. And about, two mile an hour ball speed. Yeah. Um, but Matt, you mentioned earlier, he, he implemented this in an effort to get over a plateau in his training. Yeah. So yeah, we're both kind of in a little bit of a speed plateau, needing to increase the rotation through the hips, needing to transition more body weight to the, the back leg, as well as loading correctly through the front foot. Um, and we dabbled in it and got some small benefits, took some time away and then spent a lot more extensive time on it where we, we really saw the, the benefits from it. Now we were just talking, at some point you, you mentioned you pulled the plug on it. Obviously with long drive, there's always the playability of stuff, right? You gotta put yeah. balls in play, you gotta know how to hit shots. So you and your, your coach decided that it wasn't yeah, the best was, thing for you and There was discussion to whether if we use this on the grid as well to keep those speeds up high, but then obviously, as you said, that playability side of things. And yeah, once we decided to not use that on the grid, we, um, yeah, we went back to the normal sort of swing, but because those movements were ingrained, that sort of stayed with it in that one motion swing. And yeah, that's where- Love it. Where now, as far as the mechanics go, it's, it's spot on and it makes a lot of sense in terms of why this drill works. Um, was there any intent around 
the actual tempo of your swing where you're trying to get fast in the backswing or anything along those lines to help to, to help get over that plateau it was it did help speed the backswing up a little bit um i always that was one of the first things we actually worked on with craig was to speed up the backswing okay so that was um it would have helped a bit but there was always that sort of fast yeah fast tempo we saw, we saw a big benefit <coughs> from that drill of exploding out in the front foot um but the feeling that we we're trying to achieve was once we've loaded correctly and you're falling as long as you possibly can and then as soon as that foot lands it's it's straight out. yeah and that's no stall that's a really good point that's what we talk about here uh moment arm right being able to get that pressure to the lead side while keeping that mass back seb go ahead and just demonstrate that real fast so go yep. ahead and we'll kind of do an air swing yep, so get to the point where you just slam that foot down right so right there so this is where his pressure's hitting forward he's creating a huge stretch through his upper and lower body and that's where Matt was just mentioning, now they're trying to push off and explode out of that left foot, which is where we see a lot of the big club head speeds uh, happen from, because it's creating a lot of whip down by the ball. Um, all right, let's do one more. Yep. And just kind of let them enjoy the, the beauty of this, because I guess this is retired now, right? We can, can we officially retire this? This one's retired. All right, so, yeah. so he, was, he had enough with uh, 230, and now we're on to new and better things. Better things. But go Always ahead and improving. let's just do one more. Just as a nice little send off. Beauty. These are these are absolutely ripped. Uh, 155 on a quad. Obviously, he's just getting loose, so not not chasing speed here. But stay tuned. We got another video that's going to talk about how Seb went from 230 to 240 and setting records. We'll see you next time. <laughs>